Hey guys, so welcome back. This is Izam, and today's video I'm going to talk about um, how to do this text in a chrome effect, just like those you see in the 80s. Transformers! design where you have this chrome effect on the text it looks beautiful that is why I, I try to relive that the era so uh, here's my tribute to that I did a first try and it looked like this but for this tutorial it's about the same but not exactly you can follow through the exact colors if you like you can play around with um, the design the main idea is there just follow that and you will not go wrong So what we have here is the chrome style design for, the f for these words. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to do this, how to achieve this in Affinity Designer. So let's get to it. So let's start off with a blank canvas. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle and cover it. Now I'm going to lock this. Next, I'm going to make a new vector layer. Now, this vector layer, we're going to add the font to have that artistic art uh, text. And uh, we're going to set the color to white. So make sure it's white. And then we're going to just tap here. We're going to change the font to uh, uh, Futura. And then we're going to type in the word retro. And we're done. Now I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to set the gradient. So I've already set the, uh, a palette that contains all the necessary colors. So what we're going to start off with is to fill the color. I'm going to set the fill tool to change it to linear. And then we're going to set this down like that, straight down. Now the top color, let's tap on that and we're going to set the color to dark blue. So it's 822 and 68. Okay, so that's the color. Now, next thing, we're going to set another point here where we're going to change the gradient. We're going to set it to a lighter blue. And then we have another one here. We're going to set it to here a light yellowish color. So when it comes to the middle line here, the equator of the letterings, we are going to have another point over here and I'm going to set the color to a very dark purple, like that. And then below it is another yellowish tone, like that. And add another point there, a light blue. And then lastly, a slightly darker blue color. Now I'm going to adjust the, the gradient here. So I'm just going to pull and drag this down a little bit like that so that the dark color just touches the end. And that's it. Let's raise it up a little bit here. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this. Tap on this and click on duplicate. Now for this layer here, we're not going to add the fill. We're just going to add the outline. So let's blank this out and this is the active layer. We are going to set the outline to 
about four and hit OK. Now the outline we are also going to have it as a gradient. So let's click on here and click on this button here. Currently it is solid, let's make it linear. Now let's move this around, constrain it to a straight line, drag it up. Now take note, we still have the fill, we don't want the fill. Here, click here, and then nothing. Okay, so you notice now we only have this. This is the outline. So with that selected, set to here. And now we can begin to color the outline. The top color here must all be white. Here as well. Here as well. The thing is, the top is 100% opacity. This set it to zero, okay? And over here, also zero. So we're gonna have this kind of a chrome metallic shininess. Let's see whether it works. Let's turn on the bottom layer. Now we're not done yet, we're almost there. So what we're going to do next is, remember this, this is the top layer where the outline is. We're going to set the effects. The effects is the outer glow. So tap here, turn this on and tap here so that you can set the radius like that and the intensity like that. To select and change the opacity okay so just play around with it and see what works what matters most is the top the middle and the bottom has to be lighted up has to be has to have the opacity set to 100 so that we can see the shininess okay next thing the next one we're gonna do is have that little bit of sparkle we're gonna have a new layer and we're gonna do this draw a simple line using the pen tool and this straight line let's set the color to white we are going to set the fill for this so make sure you set the outline and make it linear and change so make it straight down the top is going to be set to zero opacity the bottom as well here the middle 100% over here we're going to set it to something like that 20% here as well, 20%. Okay. Now that is done. What we're gonna do is have the effects. So you do remember the outer glow. Let's set the outer glow. Now take note that the width of the line is four points. Okay, back to the outer glow. Click here. Make sure we set this, the outer glow, and have the Radius set to 9, about 9. Intensity, you can raise it up if you like. So I just raise it up to about 67. And then it's done. Now click on the move tool and then we're going to duplicate this and turn it like that. What we have here right now is this. A very nice looking sparkle. We can now adjust the size. Now where do we place the sparkle? Usually it's at here, the top here, where the light touches the font, the, let the letters. So I'm going to do duplicate this and put it over here as well. Now 
let's have another layer. Now let's just group all this into its own layer. Now have another layer. We're gonna have another font. I mean, have another text. Okay, set the text color to purple, and we're gonna type. Just type in style. Okay, select it all. Change the font name to you know a script kind of style. Maybe 100. Okay, that is done. And then I'm gonna set the color. Great. I'm gonna move it here. Now notice that again we have the outline. We don't want that, but we do want it to be on a different layer. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to duplicate this. So click and duplicate. So we have two styles here. Now the bottom one, I do not wish to have the outline. So I'm just going to click here. Now the top one, I am going to clear the fill. And just click on the fill. Or make sure you click on here. I do not wish to have the fill and I just delete that. Okay, so what we have right now is this. The outline is at the top. Let's put it at the bottom so that we do not see the crisscross going on of the outline crossing over one another. Can you see this? I do not wish to have that, so I'm just putting it below so that you know the fill of the top layer is covering the outline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the outline color to linear. So let's see what we have. So if you notice, we have the same similar style that has been used um, on the retro. We can reuse that and uh, or you can make it your own. All right. So let's see, the width here is a bit small, so I think about 1.3 is fine. I'm going to set the effects, so click there, outer glow, and it is done. So next, what I'm going to do is, I am going to set the fill to top layer which has the fill, I'm going to set the fill to a gradient. So here, let it be a lighter color and then slowly gradually going down to a darker color. So this is fine. What I'm going to do now is I am going to have another sparkle. Let's click on this sparkle and duplicate. And I'm gonna put it, this sparkle is a little bit too big for this kind of um, outline. So I'm gonna change this. It's four points right now. I'm gonna set it to two points. Okay, that means it is much smaller. Also, I am going to take this guy and put it over here. So that it will be on top of the style. Let's make a new vector layer and let's make a, rec a, a triangle for the fun of it. So I'm going to set the width to about 4. Okay, turn it. Okay, so that's done. I hope you liked the tutorial. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.